Somebody I used to know is a story about how sometimes it takes going back to a place you're from to kind of remember who you were and what you gave up along the path to success. I still think about what would have happened if you hadn't left. I've been kind of wondering the same thing recently. Our film had a post-producer, myself, an assistant editor, and a VFX artist. We were working entirely remotely because of COVID. I was in my house and Ernie, the editor, was in his house. The four of us needed to be able to collaborate and work efficiently to achieve the vision of our very passionate director, Dave Franco. The Adobe Creative Cloud was able to give us that efficiency and interplay between the different programs. I would organize the files in Premiere into the way that Ernie likes to work with, which is line by lines. Dave Franco is a great actor. He really cares about performance. He wants to be able to see back to back what options he has. Allie. 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 Riley would go through every take and pull out every time a line was said. And then he made me a string out and a timeline of all of those clips. Somebody I used to know is a grounded romantic comedy. So you would think, oh, there's no VFX in that type of movie, but there are quite a few VFX. Riley, the assistant editor, would set up the temp VFX projects and even do a quick pass before sending them to me. Most of them being phone screen comps or laptops, a fair number of paint outs. One of the type of shots we do are split screens, and that is where you take the performance from one side of the screen and fix it with the other side where maybe they looked in the camera real quick or the performance needed to get cut down a little. So Riley would start the split screens in Premiere and bring them into After Effects. From Premiere, I'll use the dynamic link to bring it over to After Effects, and then I can do more advanced work in After Effects. Split screens are not always as simple as a straight line down the middle. Sometimes the camera on the take you're using is moving or the lighting has changed. Each shot can be different. What are you doing here? You know, I'm just visiting my old haunts on the off chance I might run into an ex from 10 years ago. How many have you run into so far? The Lumetri color panel has a color match function that totally saved me on this film several times. There was a couple of scenes where they were fighting the sun going down. And if you've ever shot anything when the sun's going down, you know that your color temperature is changing kind of the entire time. Rather than having to go into all the different settings, you literally park your playhead on the clip you want your clip to look like. Hit color match, it does its magic. And it was close enough that that was no longer this jarring change in lighting and color, and just fit seamlessly within the scene, we were able to then focus on performance, focus on story. To Sean and Cassidy. Oh, yes. 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 I basically push for every project I, I work in to cut and premiere. It has the right tools that allow me to be creative, allow me to try things, just because the software's not in the way when the top of everybody's mind is just what's at a service of the story. It's super powerful and really fun, and there's just nothing like that. <laughs>